Hi, everyone. Today is Thursday, March 18th of 2021, and we are here for the weekly crypto review with Muant, and I'm Samantha Jane. How's it going, Muant? It's going great. I'm holding it all together, barely. Um, it's going awesome. Uh, I, I don't even know where to start today. Why don't we pull up uh, some charts? Man, look at that Kyber lady. What do you mm -hmm. think about that? Well, I mean, you know, I know the story. Timing's not always so great. Some people were getting very annoyed with owning Kyber because everything else was moving up. But I'll just repeat again. Remember, it's a horse race. And the strategy is to spread it out so that you can always be part of the party. Um, there's lots of people who own uh, Super Farm who've been part of the party. But, you know, yeah. if you didn't own Super Farm, I bet you owned um, Kyber Network if you've been hanging out with the crew for a while. Because I do see Kyber. I did see it being you know, in the hundreds of dollars it was going to be. And this was back in 2017 when I bought it. I saw it being um, one of the front runners in the cryptocurrency industry. So I'm excited to see it going up. Um, thank God. I mean, the market is going up a lot and uh, it made a huge jump just in the last 24 hours. For sure. CRX is uh, kicking butt too. So it's nice to see some of the projects associated with the DeFi Alliance. You and I have talked now, I think three mm -hmm. times about the DeFi Alliance. Yeah. Um, so it's nice to see some of these tokens that were uh, DeFi tokens that were in the first cohort and contributors to the project starting to benefit. So I, I hope we gave people a heads up on that by getting them to look at the the needed articles in the in the DeFi Alliance project. Um, so ZRX has taken off KNC. I'm, I'm happy to see Kusama taking off. This is a favorite of mine. This is our uh, pretty much our our reckless uh, cousin of uh, Polkadot. It's the test bed, but they're going to allow um, a little bit more leeway and a little bit more. What's the word? They're going to be less constrained and allow some a little bit racier projects to run on this uh, Kusama network. So I'm, I'm happy to see that this is kicking butt and anybody that's staking this over at Kraken is pretty happy as well. I got a nice flash on API 3 this weekend and uh, wouldn't you know it, it took off. So that's that's great. I don't think I mentioned that to anybody, though. Um, you see anything? I mean, uh, ADA, let's talk about ADA. Um, yeah, I had said it was getting ready to do its next 10 times run, yeah. and that was in the blab. So let's wait and see if it does go another 10 times over the next month or so. Not 10 times overnight, just it's ready for its next 10 times run. So it's not going to, yeah. you're just not going to pull back below a dollar and make you wait another three or four months. You know, I mean, Tezos was terrible like that, wasn't it? Tezos sure. has been terrible for, you know, it ran like crazy. And, you know, we watched our Tezos being like one of the first in our bags to really fill up and sure. start to confirm the information about the, the horse race situation. I mean, you would think that everything would go up all at the same time, but that is not at all what I saw happening. And this is where the traders get wrecked because exactly. you cannot rely on an up market for your coin to go up. The market may be going down and your coin is going up like the last right. situation with ADA. So you sell off and then it just keeps going. Like for example, with flow, um, mm -hmm. it's now back down just below the price that I sold it at to get stuff like super farm. Yep. And, um, you know, phantasma and yeah, I think it was, yeah, I think it was super firm and yeah. Yeah. Reef. Ma Reef. Yeah. yeah. Um, happy to see the graph. I watched a really nice chain link video um, the other day. And listen, if there's any technical people out there that want to be technical, once again, chain link discord and the chain link uh, YouTube channel um, and a couple different venues, you know, you can learn technical things about chain link all day long. They have two or three technical things daily. And there was a really interesting one the other day about uh, the graph and chain link and how to get the most out of graph using chain link. I thought it was great. Let's go back to Tezos here. A lot of us are happy that this is running. A lot of us has been uh, staking this for a long time. So it's nice to get some um, price appreciation because a lot of us have uh, much bigger bags than we had when we originally purchased it because we've been staking this whole time, which is just amazing. Um, Theta obviously is uh, doing really great. <clears throat> it's approaching its uh, all time high here. We're only just a few cents away from that. So that's great. Uh, I wanted to take a look at VET. Um, I'm pretty obsessed with VET the last month or so. So look at that. Holy crap. That's just awesome, right? 
Oh yeah. And uh, for the newbies who were coming on the last couple of months, I was getting them to buy vet. I was like, you know what? They were upset. They're like, Oh, that was like a quarter of a penny. Oh, that was like <laughs> two cents. How'd you, should I still buy it? I'm like, absolutely. I see like $7 for vet. So you would be an income poop if you did not buy <laughs> vet at two cents. <laughs> it's okay. You know what? And I'm sad. And we've, those of us who bought it, at you know a micro penny like mar- far, a micro coin is one that is far less than a penny so yeah. you can get like a huge you could you know a lot of people in our crew have hundreds of thousands of yes. vet some yes. people have millions of vet crazy I know they've just been dollar cost averaging their paycheck. It's been one of the Q labs since I think it was August of 2019. I went vet crazy and offered a reading special that you could only get if you donated vet to me. (laughs) So if you donated some of your vet to me, then you got a a lot of times my reading specials were 25 and 50% off. Um, you know, so it made it worthwhile yeah. for people. A lot of people went in and they might have put a few thousand dollars into vet so that they could throw me like whatever it was, like a hundred bucks or whatever they threw me. Um, but then they kept the rest and then they had it in their portfolio and continued to dollar cost average when there was big pullbacks. So that's had a huge payoff for people. So, but still keep buying vet. It's, it's going up, up, up. Yeah. Just three other things I think I want to look at here. The DeFi perp. This is a nice index. It keeps track. I think about 11 different DeFi projects that run on Ethereum. Um, this is a nice way to gauge kind of where that whole market's going. You know, the total value locked is just increasing as it always has since it's since the DeFi first arrived on the scene um, over a year ago now. So uh, total value lock just keeps increasing. So this is a nice chart. I would like to see this grow. Uh, Dot obviously is uh, doing great. Um, everybody's loving that 12% staking over on Kraken. And then I just wanted to take a look at silver. Silver looks a little down. <clears throat> People are starting to receive their stimulus checks here in the United States. Um, I expect a lot more money to be flowing into this market uh, just in the next, uh, over the next week, really. Well, yeah, especially since it's a lot of the younger people who are getting the stimulus checks. And um, what are they doing with it? They're not buying bonds with it. I'll tell you that. They're going on, <laughs> they're, right? they're either going on right. to Robinhood and right. buying some stocks or they're um, more likely now with Bitcoin being all the range. And then they're like, well, there's not just Bitcoin. There's this other stuff that people are making even more money on. And it's exciting. You know, there's a there's a portion of crypto space that I don't hear a lot of people talking about, and they they do well. They'd be well served to start wrapping their minds around fixed rate, uh, fixed interest rate bonds uh, through Ethereum, uh, specifically. But uh, people need to start kind of looking at that because uh, you know to have a fixed rate of return on an Ethereum bond or an Ethereum tied bond is going to be a big thing in the future. So, um, and I, I would like everybody to be early. So I don't want you to hear about this through some talking head when they start talking about it in two months and they, they give you wrong information and they don't know what they're talking about. Um, so, yeah, you guys might want to start looking into fixed rate yields. Uh, well, bonds. we can probably include a link for that with sure. the YouTube people who see our freebie in the first 30 minutes. We're going to have Sounds that good. link in there and then a bunch of other links as well, even stuff that doesn't make the cut. Um, well, like the we're, stuff we're blabbing about, we still put the links in the freebie so that everybody knows um, stuff just sites they should be looking at. Let's go ahead and get into the question, Sam. Uh, I do want to talk about Super Farm later on. Um, that Those airdrops are coming on the 22nd, mm-hmm. so that would be Monday. If anybody's holding those, those super awesome uh, NFTs, I know a few of us bought them. So we're going to start getting those in. So I just don't want anybody to miss that. Also, if anybody's uh, messing around with Multiplier, uh, MMX, you have the ability now to swap those ERC-20 tokens over to your Binance Smart Chain tokens mm-hmm. and uh, get that going. 21 million locked already in multiplier. That's that's pretty wow. crazy. And this is the converter. If, uh, if you guys needed to do the conversion. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get on to the question, Sam, unless you have anything else. Yeah, I've got to do the conversion. I didn't even know that that had to be done to our MXX yeah. coins. Yeah, that went crazy high really fast. And it looks like yeah. it's pulled back, which isn't completely normal. Mm-hmm. But all that does is it just gives you the signal to, you know, buy more. <laughs> yeah. Just buy more. It pulled back. You know, just again, do not FOMO in. Do not no. FOMO into a coin. You, 
Yeah. And I know a lot of people that got into that project. They were interested in it because it's a Aave clone and it's going to run on Binance Smart Chain. Uh, and there's some, uh, yeah, there's some other links there that are pretty interesting. I know people that, that made, you know, a, a 10X on that and then pulled out their initial investment. Now they're just sitting with free MMX or MXX tokens, which is uh, wonderful. But uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and get into the questions. Hey, Sam and Moo. If VeChain is going to be a dollar eighty by December, will VThor be around eleven cents? Thank you. Um, I think it will be more than eleven cents. What do you think of the price for Tezo this year? Thank you. Um, Tezos will probably be like in the price range where you know Polkadot and Link are. Wow, that's great. So watch them. It's a horse race, right? And it yeah. just comes from behind and then they're all neck and neck. I mean, why Love not, it. right? Love it. Sam, will we see anything with XLM soon or do we need to have XRP take off first? Oh, we don't need XR. I think XRP might probably be the last one to go. Um, it's yeah. looking like. Um, let me just take a quick look at XLM again. So I'm thinking that there will be more listings on more exchanges uh, because right now you've only got um, B2BX, um, Coinbase Pro, Bitcoin.com Exchange, HitBTC, and Challengely Pro. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's not, you know, once you get it on um, Binance and um, a few other ones, yeah. then you're going to see more, much more movement. You know, anyone else? Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say crypto.com. Of course, you can get XLM there with Bitcoin, but not everybody uses crypto.com. Thank you. Uh, Ani also wants to know out of all our coins right now, which ones are good buys today? Well, Tezos is still a good buy because that's, you know, again, and so is Stellar because Stellar took a nice rest. Um, Cardano, like I said, I mean, it's, it's, running quite hard and there might be like a little bit of a pullback you might be able to get it like below a buck 30. Uh, i try not to i i'm like don't fomo into stuff remember you should have right. got this the other day and when you didn't just wait you know right. so um yeah but stellar i would i would get stellar because it is only 40 cents and when you look at the chart for stellar you'll see that it did have a big growth in numbers and then it had a little bit of a pullback and then it seems to have consolidated and it'll get ready to run again. Um, VeChain is still a really great buy as well. I would definitely buy that. Um, Doge should be headed for another big run again this summer. Um, so you have some time on that. Oh, look at Tezos Go. It is already $4.52. I know. It's awesome. I was like, oh my gosh, it's really running now. Because it, it shows you the percentages, but it's not really being truthful because... exactly. You know, I'm looking at it and I'm like, what? You mean 5.2%? Yeah, but it was $4.09 this morning. So it's at 452. That's closer to 50 uh, to, you know, it's close to 10% increase. But on the one year, it's only up um, 225%. And it should be in the thousands of the percentages. So it's lagging behind. And that's really um, what you want. It's all time high was $5.00 and 56 cents. So it's still 20% below its yeah. all time high that it hit yeah. on February 14th. Yeah. Um, but it's just going to scream past that. And you're going to, you're going to see it in the teens soon enough. And so everybody will be happy again. Cause lots of us, you know, we have some pretty full bags of Tezos and a lot of people are staking their Tezos and making some money while they wait for it to grow. Yeah, that'll be really great once we reach this all-time high that we did hit on that February 13th, February 14th. Um, and we don't really have that much further to go here. We're only got a, a dollar more to go-ish. Um, so it'll be nice. And then it'll be in true price discovery, which will be really, really, really cool for all of us that have been baking Tezos for a long time. I'm super excited about that. Yeah, people are distracted by a lot of the sort of DeFi NFT newbies. Mm -hmm. And Tezos has been around for a while. But right. once people start to pile on to it, um, you know, what is it? Tom Draper? What's Draper's first name? Tim. Tim. I was like, it's not Tom. It's okay. Tim Draper. He rarely loses. For those of you who don't know him, right. he's the one who bought the Bitcoin that had been 
um, confiscated by the federal government from um, the individual who ran, I think it was Pirates, Pirate Bay. They yeah. confiscated the Bitcoin. Anyways, he bought it. And I can't remember what he paid for it. Maybe 3000 per Bitcoin, something like that. Yep. Um, but you know what? The guy's no dummy. That was no. a big move for him to make to buy it that early on. I mean, I knew where things were headed, but that's only because I can see the future. I mean, he can't see the future. He's like all the other financial and business people just sort of guessing about which way things are going to go. So, I mean, I have a lot of respect for somebody who would take that much money and invest it in the future of Bitcoin. Yeah. Gosh, so exciting, man. So exciting. I like to be, I like to align myself with uh, successful people who have consistently won, right? It's almost like, uh, yeah, it's just putting your, your money on the best show horse out there. Right. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. And, you know, and if you, if you're, if somebody's like in their fifties or forties or fifties and they still haven't figured things out, I don't know if I want to be getting advice from them. <laughs> you nailed it. 100%. Mm -hmm. I, I ask myself that all the time. Um, mm -hmm. Shouldn't you be further along? Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, Kat M says, uh, do you have any price blats on synthetics network SNX? Well, you were the one who um, told people about synthetics early yeah. on. And uh, so what is your comment on synthetics? I love synthetics. Um, it's, it's really unique. I think, um, once again, look at the DeFi Alliance and how it's positioning itself there. You know, there are people that are uber early to these things, you know, painfully early. And you just you don't lose after that. You know, if you can pick up a token for you know, 10 cents, 30 cents, uh, $2, um, you know, it's currently setting at uh, $19 and 16 cents. So, um, that's why, you know, we kind of, we joke around all the time, but we say, you know, early beats capital. If you can be very early to these things, and I know it's painful, um, when you're sitting in something, maybe you bought it at $3 and you got to roll, you know, a whole year or something before it, it even starts to move. And then it goes to five and then it goes to seven and it goes to nine, and then it goes to 12, right? And then it runs all the way up to 28 bucks. And then, um, it's pulled back now to 19. I still like synthetics. Um, once again, um, if people can take some time, look at the DeFi Alliance and see how a lot of those projects are going to be used. I think, uh, I think it's, uh, the playbook is right there laid, laid right out for people for sure. What about you? Oh, I still am a fan of synthetics. Now I am trying to think, I don't think I have to, I would have to open my wallet and look, but I don't think I have any synthetics in there. I know. Isn't that terrible? That is terrible. You know, you, know, you have too many coins when <laughs> too many tokens when, you know, and then I went and bought super firm and sold. And yeah. Well, I already had reef from before when we talked about it, it was in a DeFi reading special that I had. So I got yeah. a lot of reef then for like a penny, which was awesome. Um, you bought reefer for a penny. Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> Cheap. <laughs> I said reefer, not reef. <clears throat> gotcha. Okay. Um, I, you. <laughs> uh, I know you did. <laughs> I was just, I saw that sneaky snip of <laughs> to hide your smile. Uh, Elrond, any price blabs on Elrond? Kat M wants to know. Oh, Elrond. Okay. Well, I probably, because of such a huge in price increase, I probably would have sold out of my Elrond. Yeah. Because I, of the multiple. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Sam, when you say up, 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 are we approaching the second up? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sneaky. That was sneaky, Simon. Very sneaky way to answer a good question. That yeah. I, well, the up, up, up just means that regardless of the pullbacks, our um, direction is going to be north. So... I not agree. south. Things are not going south. Things are going north. And you might like take a side road or something that has you going east to west or, you know, even sometimes southwest. Right? <laughs> yes. but, you end up, but then you need you end up north again because it's just it's just a road. There was no there was no road going this way. You had to go this way, which is kind of a bummer because you hate like when you take a flight. I, I deal with this all the time. And it drives me crazy how, to, how I have to like, because I live in tiny town, I have to fly away from where I'm going to get to where yeah. I want to go because I can't yeah. get a flight from where I'm going. I have to fly away. So I'm like, and it, I get so mad about that. I'm like, oh, I end up spending like an extra hour and a half in the air that I shouldn't have to 
but yeah. oh well that's just the way that it is but still you know you end up still getting to your destination so that's what i mean about the up 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 is that we're just headed up some coins might be pulling back or going sideways but the end result is and and there's nobody trading here um you know if you are you keep that on the download with me because you know how cranky i get with traders me too yeah <laughs> yeah i would give you the evil stare yeah you're, you're ruining it for everybody. Just sit your butt down and hold it and, you know, give it a chance to grow and support the developers. And I, I hate how the market would go up like 5% and then people would start sell, sell, selling. But I think the good part about not really knowing for sure, like coins not following the market, yeah. that's been beautiful, like beautiful for wrecking traders. I smile when I like when yeah. ADA did what it did. I was like, oh, I love it. I love it because you chumps, you all jumped off at 60 cents and it'll never see that again. Well, I got to tell you, when this, when that happened to some people that I know with the graph and when it happened to a few people that I know with API 3, I got to tell you, I didn't feel bad for them. Um, yeah. Because, you know, if you can't wait, if you can't wait for this miraculous thing to just blossom and you're, you're looking at short term, eh, I guess you're caught out. You can go find a find another awesome gem. Right. Um, I think we've been pretty good about identifying some some technologies and some tokens and coins, platforms, projects, sectors that have that are proven to be extremely successful for people. Yeah. And there's not too much too many things that, you know, you would trade out of in less than a month or two. There are some, you know, if you've got if you jump onto something and then it just moves up like really, really quick. Um, yeah. And you're like, okay, well, I don't have that much of it. And I see this other project over here that I want to get a whole bunch of, you know, like super farm, for example. I mean, unless that goes to, you know, be like 30 bucks really quickly, um, you know, I'll still be holding it when it's like 10, $15. Like I'm not going to, like if it went to $10 um, next week, like I'm still going to hold it. I'm not somebody who does trading. It's like, I believe in these projects and I want to hold them. And, you know, the ones that I sell out on, I can guarantee you that 95% of anything I've sold this year, I held it for years, like most of it since 2017 or 2018. Yep. And the only one that I sold within a short period of time, because I just made so much on it, um, was Flow from Dapper Labs. I made right. so much from that. I, do I think it's going up? Yes, I still think it's going up. But you know what? I wanted to, I'm like, I... I'm getting out of control here. I'm getting too many coins and tokens. Um, I'm really, I have already had reef. I'm buying more reef. So I'm going to take some of that and get more reef with it. And then I'm not increasing my coins and tokens because I didn't even know that MXX um, needed to be swapped. I haven't even, I haven't even changed my lend over yet to Avi. So that, <laughs> <laughs> my theta is still trapped in my BitFi. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a mess over here. I have too many coins as it is. And that's, that's why it, lady, you're in crypto goes, jail but, from now on. I swear to God, you're in crypto theta, jail. When theta goes to $10, I'm selling it all. And I'm going to buy like a condo with it or something. <laughs> and a helicopter. Um, uh, no, I didn't get that much theta. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, I'll, buy, I'll buy the listen, helicopter. Theta, I knew what Theta was going to go through from 2018 um, on, like because I bought it, like I said, when it was when it was around. Um, I know I bought it in two chunks, and my dollar cost average on it ended up being thirteen and a half cents. But okay. I knew that it was going to go through a period of the doldrums and be mm -hmm. going down when everything else was going up. And I'm human, like the rest of you. I don't think I could have, you know, dumped in you know, 10, 20, $30,000 into theta watching the red. Cause that, you know, that's still a lot of money to me. I don't care what anybody thinks like that's a lot of money to me. I, you know, I, when I was, when I was 16, I worked for four bucks an hour. I mean, I've got no silver spoon in my mouth. I know, I know what it's like to work for a wage, um, yeah. you know, but I will commend those who listened to me who had a lot of money in theta and said, okay, now that she's told us how it's going to happen, like, we're just going to sit and wait. And they did. And, you know, and God love them, right? That they did that. And now they have um, a low seven figure number that they can cash in and, you know, change their life with. It's, it's so awesome to see. I'm very excited. And, you know, I'm just going to end up with a condo out of it. So I'm pretty happy. Right. Yeah. There are worse things. Yeah. Um, that's wonderful. Yeah. Condo and Cabo. Whoop, whoop. whoop. Waterfront. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam. 
Question of the week. Dollar cost average reef or doge? Full disclosure, I have zero doge. Oh, well, then you better get some. Okay. Hey, Sam and Moo, what three cryptos uh, that you feel are good buys right now? Thanks for the time you spend to help others. Lots of love from Australia. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, we kind of already reviewed that with the Q Labs, um, but if people are looking for, and I, I don't want to say this, it's very cute. I've had people that I know who know that I'm, of course, that I know that I'm a medium, and then they ask me, you know, like which ones I like, and then they reiterate with me, I want the one for with the best multiple, and I'm like. I'm like, oh, yeah, because I don't do that. I don't, as a human, look to see what I can make the most money on. Yeah, I know that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I pick the worst multiple, typically. So, <laughs> yeah, if you want the highest, yeah, then I got to yeah. give you, yeah. Yeah, but it was interesting yesterday with one of our peeps um, who was in, uh, we were talking in the coins, and they were buying, uh, they were looking at Reef, mm -hmm. Soul, KCAL, and... Um, super firm. And I yeah. said, and I told them, I said, get some super firm and reef right now. I said, soul and KCAL are on fire because KCAL was already over 10 cents and, um, super firm was actually down. And, you know, I felt it was a good time to buy it because it wasn't running hard. So I just said, get those two. I said, and then hold on and wait for soul to do a bit of a pullback, which it did today. It was down about six or 9%. And then KCAL, it says that it's up and I saw it at 9.3 cents. And I was like, well, yesterday when I was telling her that, I was like, don't buy it at 10 cents, 10 point whatever cents. It's just, it's running too hot. Just wait for that correction to happen. And then you, then you can get like that much more of it for those two. So when I looked today, I was really happy to see that, but I don't normally get, um, that exact information to give someone instructions, but I really feel that. The people on the other side were helping me out because I was like, I was like, come on, throw me a bone for this person. They had Nexo take like six months of their DCA last March, and I'm feeling bad about that. Let's get let's get them fixed up and not on the right, right track again. Because right. I felt I heard that I was like, oh, I didn't know that could happen. Oh, that's that would just oh, I would just I would want to throw up if that happened to me. And I thought about it and I said, you know what, it's okay because this person is going to recover just fine because things are still going to go parabolic. It's still very early days. So, but anyways, looking for exact stuff like that, I might be able to do that on a reading like here and there, but I can see why it's not really my forte on a regular basis yeah. because then, I mean, I wouldn't even be able to sleep. Uh, next question. Hey guys, I'm a smaller OG investor. I have some of the Q labs. I also have sprinkles of super doge link dot reef BZRX. DGB, Soul. I intend to keep dollar cost averaging for as long as possible. Are there any coins I should focus on now or focus on more of the existing ones? Should I go for Q Labs? Should I go for new ones? I also have a little bit of Theta that I'd like to sell at $10, um, which would be an extra 5K to spend on other tokens. It's hard to know as a small investor how to spread this around. Should I sell some silver for more crypto? So this is from Freebie, just asking lots of questions from a new newer. Uh, sounds like they're an OG person. They've been around the crypto space for a long time, but maybe they just have smaller bags than they feel like most people do. So what can what can you say to uh, uh, an OG crypto investor that has a little bit smaller bags? Well, remember that the Q Labs, I consider those the blue chips. You know, like Cardano is a blue chip and, you know, Stellar is a blue chip and Polkadot. And I've often said like about the DeFi NFT, they're like what we refer to as funny bunnies. They hop high, low, high, low. And if anybody has not bought DeFi's, um, you may not know what I'm talking about, but if you've bought any, oh yeah. If you've bought more than one, you bought something and then it's down yep. like 20% the next day, you know, and that's what I warn people about with those funny bunny type of cryptocurrency. So DeFi NFT, because it's newer in the space, it is higher risk. So if somebody was coming into cryptos right now, I would be like, you know, get you get your ADA uh, VeChain. I still listen, VeChain is still cheap. I'd be like, okay, don't, don't buy any ADA today because it's gone crazy again. Um, wait for the pullback. Don't FOMO. But you know, uh, v, v chain's gone crazy too. And so has bad, but I would be like, Oh, Tesla's has gone up a lot too. You know what? Yeah. 
oh my God, look, look for, look on the list, which ones are unloved that week. But I, I would do like, um, a 25%, 75% split. So I would be dollar cost averaging into the most unloved, um,